COVID, COVID sucks, bro. COVID sucks, man. Honest to God, like, <laughs> COVID sucks, COVID sucks, COVID sucks. For, like, a lot of reasons, man. Like, um, the fact that it's, it's, uh, it killed a bunch of people, of course, um, that's pretty bad, but, uh, uh, like, when you, when you get it, it's something serious, man, um, I've been, I've been out, I've been out of, uh, work, um, I mean, like, I've been out on a lot of different things, um, in terms of, like, uh, making music even, um, following sports, following any kind of trend that's been going on the past, like, uh, month or so, um, I got, I caught COVID, basically, and, uh, I'm not vaccinated, which is a mistake on my part, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get vaccinated, uh, maybe, like, tomorrow, or, or, or yeah, most likely tomorrow I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get that uh, that injection, cause like I I caught COVID like maybe two weeks ago from today, and like I don't even know where to start, man. Um, before that though, uh, before I explain my whole experience of having COVID, COVID nineteen. Um, tragic tragic news uh just uh before i caught the the virus not just before this happened maybe in um at, at some at some point in july i don't have a whole lot of information about uh the details about this but um um uh, one of the lgc um associates passed away uh, this this guy his name's uh D Kalian D Mac uh, a lot of people call him D Mac but his uh, his alias name's uh, D Kalian and uh, this dude I actually um, recorded at least one track with I wanted to do a lot more tracks for sure for sure I wanted to do a lot more tracks um, but. Of course, uh, I didn't get a chance to um, because of his passing. And um, like I said earlier, I'm not sure exactly um, the exact details of like what happened to this guy. Um, I'm I'm uh, I'm trying to get that information right now, but um, and he is a lot closer to my cousin who owns the whole uh, LGC. Um, what do you call it? Um, LGC uh, group or crew or whatever you want to call it. And I'm not even sure if he's going to continue on with it after this these, uh, this tragic uh, uh, situation of uh, DK Alien's passing. But um, I definitely want to get more information of like what happened exactly. Um, it's real sad. Real sad, of course. Um... I didn't know the guy as well as my cousin did, but um, from what I known from him, uh, he's definitely a, a good guy, definitely a cool guy, um, somebody I learned a lot off um, in terms of like making my own music better. Um, it took me a while to to respond to the situation just because like it caught me off guard, um, just kind of like out of nowhere you know um and i just like re re like the last remembering the last conversation we had together um he's basically really good in terms of like mastering music so like he makes his own music too he's his own artist um he makes beats i'm pretty sure um, and he's a songwriter, but the one thing that I've learned from him in terms of like, uh, how to improve my own music and, um, how to improve my overall business when it comes to making my music, 
the the business side, mastering the music too. Um, I learned a lot of techniques from him in terms of how to master music properly. But he showed me a lot uh, in terms of like the business side of making music. Uh, when it comes to like distributing my music and uh, understanding um, the right sites to go to, uh, in o in order to like get my music put on, so that whole like this whole like getting my music put onto Spotify, he I got that from him in terms of like how to do it, where to go to do it. Uh, he gave me all the resources and the information. Uh, uh, to to put together in terms of like putting my music out i learned a lot from him man and uh it's just it's real sad that he's gone now uh, he's in a better place now i guess but um way too young like i don't even think he was 30 yet i'm pretty sure he was like 28 29 years old uh his music like yeah it was getting hot too his music was, was you know and like I didn't really like the one thing I respect him for is definitely how he mastered his music, having the knowledge, uh, having the the uh, post production knowledge to like make the the overall sound of his music um, the the absolute best, and it's something that I learned from him. Um, I'm gonna definitely miss him, man, and like. I didn't grow up with him just the way the way my cousin did, you know what I mean? Like I'm pretty sure my cousin grew up with him. Um so he's a lot more hurt. Like I'm hurt too, but he he's broken up about this one. Um and like I said, like I don't think he's going to continue making he's going to continue making music. Um not for a while at least, but um I got to talk I got to talk to my cousin and see what's up with that. But um yeah, definitely definitely some sad news. Um came out of nowhere. Um may may he rest in peace and um condolences to his family of course. Uh his loved ones, his his uh his parents, uh, any siblings that he's that he had. I'm not sure if he had sibling if he has siblings or not, but um just it's real some real sad stuff, man. Um Life short, never know what could happen. I mean, I caught COVID, you know what I mean? And this was after knowing his passing, you know what I mean? That he, like, he, I found out that he died and then I got COVID. So, I mean, having COVID put a lot in perspective, you know what I mean? Also with his death on my mind, it, it made me, it gave me like a solid two weeks to really just like, review my life and like you know what i mean life's short man anything can happen um don't take life too serious you know um any family members or friends or anybody that knows you uh you should definitely tell them that you love them um and um yeah man it's it's rough man i i really i still till this till this day like i still can't believe it happened like i'm still pretty blown away about um that um yeah i wish i had more to say about this but um i didn't i didn't like i didn't know him as well as my cousin did like i keep saying that but like yeah i'll leave i guess i'll just leave it at that only because like i didn't i didn't know him as well as my my cousin did um some sad stuff man but um yeah as i was saying earlier i did catch covid covid19 for the first time i believe it was the first time i mean i could have caught it um earlier um earlier and it's like in this whole like pandemic that we're still kind of in you know what i mean like from the time it started i'm maybe i did catch it maybe like two three times and maybe just didn't know because like I didn't get symptoms, but this time I got all the symptoms. Um, I got all of the the crap that they've been talking about. Doctors they've been talking about. Whenever you catch it, the 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 taste buds go in, um, the headache, the sore throat, 
all that the the be feeling nauseous like i got all that and i feel like it could have been worse for me um maybe because of my age um i'm 30 years old yeah you know what i mean it's not like super young but it's also not old you know what i mean i feel like if it was maybe five ten years older it would have hit me a lot harder and i'm not vaccinated so that was the main reason why it hit me the way it did I think just because of like the not being vaccinated, if anything, if I was vaccinated, I, I wouldn't feel it as as much. Um, but um, yeah, it was it was one crazy experience. Uh, definitely don't want to go through that again. So like I'm going to go ahead and get the vaccination so I don't have to go through that crap again. But yeah, man, like it took me out of work. You know what I mean? I have a job on top of the music that I'm making. You know, so like I wasn't able to work for for a minute, um, but luckily I'm good now. Um, my mom definitely took care of me a little bit too. You know, um, during during the time here, but um, I I'm back now. I'm good. Uh, I'm not like like I'm not one hundred percent healthy yet. Um, but like I'm I'm feeling pretty good. You know, compared to like how I felt before. Like, I'm definitely feeling a lot better now. And, um, yeah, I'm ready to get back into making some music. Uh, that Vitamins FM, hope you guys are enjoying uh, those songs uh, from that mixtape. Um, I, I'm currently working on a new song. This one's called uh, Snake Eyes. I think I talked a little bit about it. Um, my last post, my last Instagram post that I, that I put out right before I got COVID um, and uh, it's like I just gotta like record it basically like the beats done uh, the the lyrics are all written out uh, I just gotta record it and master it and all that I gotta get an um, uh, artwork too for it I, I have an idea on my mind about how I want the artwork to, to look like I just gotta like take the picture and you know do my thing uh, so I think maybe around like uh, the end of the month, uh, maybe like uh, the 30th, I'm aiming for the 30th or like the 28th or something like that, I'll have it released. Uh, I'm going to record it uh, either tomorrow or Wednesday. Um, I just got to like go through a little bit of practicing and uh, yeah, I'm going to get that out for you guys on Spotify, um, iTunes, all the platforms. Um, and, uh, yeah. Oh yeah. I also want to work on a new music video. I'll give you, I'll give you guys more details uh, on that, um, in the future. But, um, as of right now, the main focus is to get this, uh, Snake Eye, uh, Snake Eye's, uh, song completed, get that all recorded and sent out to the stores. And then, um, yeah, I'll give you guys, I'll keep giving you guys more information about like, future projects that I'm working on um I'm gonna try to do maybe one more uh, album or mixtape uh, for this year before the year ends um I'm definitely gonna do a bunch of singles and a bunch of, a bunch of videos but um in terms of new music uh maybe one more project maybe like a mixtape or something like that I'll give you guys more information about that in the future and uh like subscribe if you haven't already Definitely appreciate all the streams I've been getting uh, for all the, the new music that I've been putting out, the, the little bit of all the music that I've been putting out, but definitely appreciate all the support, all, all the streams and the listens, the views, the likes. Um, yeah, more, more stuff, more material on the way, and I'm going to try to make videos like this more often too. I feel like it's the right thing for me to do. Uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, subscribe if you have it, and uh, until next time, uh, Looper Norris, baby. Listen to uh, listen to Vitamins if you haven't already. Um, out on all platforms, and uh, more music to come. So stay tuned.